Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you. These are the good times with you. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, oh. La, 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 oh, oh. Oh, oh. La, 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 oh, oh. Oh, oh. La, la, Making our Christmas memories. I've been wrapping presents for you. I've been hanging marbles in the tree. And I've lit my house. Good morning, and welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. I have just been enjoying this morning, watching lots of Vlogmases, and then in my head I kept thinking about um, our upcoming trip to Nashville and the things that I need to bring with me. You can come in. No, oh, I don't know if Kent needed to come in here. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and pull out the Advent things that I'm going to need while we're traveling. And so I kind of had to think through like, okay, wait, how many days, like what day is it going to be when we leave? And we leave on the 21st, um, the 21st, but we, I will technically be, uh, two days ahead. So I will be opening day 23 Advents that morning. And I'm thinking I should be able to open them, show them, and also do my granny stripe that morning. So I don't need to bring day 23 with me. I really just need to bring days 24 and 25. So the last two days of each advent. So I pulled everything out. So that's 11 and 12 of my Mandy's makings. That's the last mini skein and a full skein for fangirl fibers. There is one last um, fangirl fiber stitch marker and then the last mini and full skein for a homespun house. So that's not a ton of stuff. I'm not bringing the rest with me. I'm not gonna be working on those projects. I've decided while I'm traveling, that is just too much. And so I got out one of my big project bags, my Christmas project bag from um, White Rose Fiber. And I'm just gonna see if I can stuff all of these in here real quick. Christmas lights, so you should come back home to me. And when we wake up in the morning, so that brings me to my other thought, which is like, which projects to take? I kind of already have in mind, or I'm gonna be thinking about it over the next few days. I mean, this is like good. This is so good for me, like thinking about this this far in advance. Um, but now I don't have to think about the advents that I need to bring anymore. But I was thinking about my granny stripe blanket. And since it's only going to be one day, it's going to be the 24th mini skein, I don't think it's worth bringing my blanket with me to do one stripe on it. I'm not planning to bring more scrappies and do more um, rows on this. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is try to do the 23rd day, the day that I'm leaving, and do that that morning. And then just leave this here and I will do the last mini when I get back. So I'll still bring it with me and open it while we're in Nashville. But I just don't think it makes sense to bring this whole blanket just to do two rows, one stripe on it. That just doesn't really make sense. And then that will give me a nice break from the blanket because even though I'm totally enjoying it, I think better to take a break now because my plan in January is to finish this blanket. I will only have like 26 more stripes to do after that to make it a very like good size blanket. So I think I need to go ahead and take the break while I can, but mostly just bringing this for one stripe doesn't really make sense. All right, Kent is ready to join us for our guessing game today. And I'm gonna be leaving soon, and you're gonna be leaving soon, so we need to Get it done. guess because the last two days have been so hard. <laughs> They've been so difficult to guess. And you had to look up today's too, didn't you? I knew, I, I at least knew the name of this one. Okay. I'd well, remind myself what it looked like. But. 
What colors do you think are in today's? Uh, let's say white, brown, black. Yeah, pretty, I think like exactly. Maybe uh, this is more tan and brown, but yeah, like exactly. My confidence is totally shot, so I don't even know where to go from here. It's okay. <laughs> Can we start with a clue? Uh, yes. Dougie, come here, buddy. You're the clue. It's today. a dog. It is a dog. Come here. You're the <laughs> clue today. He hates it. Oh, it looks just like him. He knows to come to me because I also come to sleep. That's the clue today. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I popped his jaw. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so it's a dog. Mm -hmm. It's like a dog stuffy toy. Yeah. Is it a Scooby Dooby Doo? No. I don't think I know dog stuffed toys. Snoopy? No. It's two words. They both start with P. Pete. Nope. Paws. Nope. Percy. What do we call him sometimes? It starts with a P. Precious? Yes, that's not <laughs> it. What do you call a little a little dog? A puppy. Yep. Okay. Puppy. Nope, that's the second word. Something puppy? Yep. Where did, where did we rescue Ducky from? The pound. Oh, you know what? I do remember these now. Pound puppies? They're called yeah. pound puppies? Yeah. It's kind of a bad name. Yeah, I remember them. them. They were like, weren't they like laying down? Yeah. Or like they were like beagles, weren't they? Yeah. Pound puppies. What did you do with them? I don't remember. I don't remember. I feel like there was a song though that if I heard it somewhere, it would like, I would know all the words right away. Pound puppies. You're right. I do know what these are, but I totally forgot. You looked at a picture? Yeah. Were they stuffed or were they like plastic? I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. You lost your phone? Yeah, I don't know where it is. We'll find it. Though. All right. Pound puppies. Oh, can you're not even in the frame anymore. Pound puppies. Okay, we'll put a picture in. <laughs> Pound puppies. I'm gonna play those carols that you love. We'll be singing all the melodies until the sun comes up. The good times with you, baby. This here is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? I have changed into my something cozy. I love this sweater so much. And it is time to head out to an in-person knit group. this like so spooky. I have the light like underneath me. It's like a ghost story. I think I can clip it here to my camera and give myself a little bit of light. Okay, so I just made it back home. Oh wait, oh, I wanted to show my progress on my sock. Um, yeah, I just made it back from uh, the in-person knit event. So we meet once a month on Saturdays, always in different places in like Manhattan or Brooklyn. And this was one of the biggest meetups I think that there has been. I've tried to go to as many as possible, but I haven't been in a few months. And it's just a group that I found 
Well, actually, I think the, the group, the person who hosts it reached out to me on Instagram, but they're on Meetup. And so tonight there was, uh, or this afternoon, there was a lot of people who were brand new to the group, new to crochet, new to knitting, which was so interesting. And they were all very interested in my sweater, which I think is so funny because this is such a simple sweater, I guess, at least to me. <laughs> um, but they just thought it was so beautiful, which made me feel very, very good. And I got to um, meet up with my new friend um, and gift that yarn um, to her. She got a sock started. So that was very, very cool. So let me just show you real quick what I got done on the sock, the second sock, my sock. Okay, the light's not gonna do me too many favors here, but um, I just started into the cables and I feel very proud of myself because I went ahead and trimmed up all the ends. A lot of the ends I was able to knit over, but I went ahead and woven the cast on end and one of the other ends I couldn't get to. So my main color for this one is gonna be pink because it's the opposite. So that is officially joined in and these socks are rocking and rolling now. Um, let's set those out maybe, you know, I'll just put them back in here. So that feels really, really good. And those are on their way to being a pair. <laughs> but it made me, or I got home and I realized I haven't opened up the rest of my advents for today. So let's go ahead and do that. I know the colors won't be perfect in the dark, but day 19 of a homespun house. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is a nice like bluey green as far as what I can see right now. Show that. It is called Whispering Pines. That's a pretty color. Bluey green with maybe a little bit of purple or like blue here. Such a pretty color. Tuck that back in. And then we have day six of our Mandy's Makings um, Christmas in New Orleans. Let's see what we got. Fun. Okay, so this one is like almost like a peppermint bark kind of a thing. Oh man. There we go. So it's a white and a red and it is called Waldorf Wonderland. Waldorf, that's a hotel, right? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> so we're definitely Christmassy with these colors. And there we go. Not the greatest representation, but there's days one through six. So fun. Okay. So when I got home, um, the guys were back from, they went out to lunch today and everybody but Kent and Toaster were napping. <laughs> so I'm going to go watch through Vlogmas, the um, edited Vlogmas that's going out tomorrow and try to finish up my swatch. I started it earlier today, but I didn't get super far. And so I'm probably not going to have the most perfect swatch for my boxy tomorrow, but I'm not stressed about perfect. I'm more stressed about close. I just want to get as close as possible on that. So I will be measuring before and after blocking since it probably won't be dry by the time I make a decision to cast on tomorrow. So hopefully I can get that done and then it will be back to sock knitting tonight. Since um, everyone is so tired and recovering and also our guests are leaving tomorrow, which is so sad. It's their last day. So I think we're probably going to order some food, maybe fingers crossed a pizza to have tonight, maybe watch a movie. It's only 6.20, so we got lots of time left in the night and I'm totally down for a pizza movie night. I've got myself some pizza and my socks. Toaster and I are here in the bedroom. <laughs> I let my hair dry, um, but the guys are still just 
chilling and hanging out. So I think I'm going to watch some Harry and Meghan on Netflix. If I can find Netflix. There we go. And do some knitting. I guess it's going to be a super chill night.